Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 271. That is, what is statement coverage? Let me answer. So before understanding what is a statement coverage, you have to understand what is code coverage. Okay, so under code coverage, there are different techniques or methods or ways. One of the ways is statement coverage. So what is code coverage? Here in code coverage, we are measuring the amount of the source code of the software that is tested. Okay, how much amount of the source code of the software is tested that we are measuring as part of the code coverage. For that, there are different techniques, ways or methods known as statement coverage, branch coverage, path coverage, and condition coverage. In this session, I have to answer about one of the way or technique or method that is statement coverage, okay, that I'm going to do so, fine. So code coverage falls into the white box testing category where, okay, where the areas of the software code that are not executed by the test can be detected, okay? When you are measuring how much amount of the source code or program of the software is tested as part of, uh, is covered or covered as tested as part of testing, that means you can find out how much gap is left, how much is not tested, okay? We can detect the areas of the software code which are not tested, okay? So to increase the coverage, more tests will be created by the developers, okay? More tests will be created by the developers because this is a white box testing generally done by developers. So more tests will be created for test coverage, okay? To increase the amount of the lines of the source of the code of the program of the software that need to be tested to increase that number of lines of the code that need to be executed, okay? More tests have to be created. Hence, this code coverage falls into the structure based test design category, okay? Under this structure based test design category, there are different techniques or methods or ways that is statement coverage, branch coverage, path coverage, and condition coverage. Now, let me explain the main topic that is what is statement coverage. Once you understand code coverage and its purpose, now you can understand what is statement coverage. There is a very simple formula for statement coverage, guys. That is, statement coverage is equal to number of executed statements, number of statements that got tested divided by the total number of statements in the software. Okay, how many statements got executed or tested divided by total number of statements into 100. So with the example, I'll show you. Here guys, we have an example, okay, which is written in Java. If you don't know Java, don't worry guys, understand it at a high level. There is a class, there is a main method from which execution will start and there's another method this particular method need to be tested for code coverage, let's say. Okay, let's say we are testing this method for code coverage. So assume that if you are passing two values, four and five, if you are passing here, okay? This particular uh, is a method calling statement, which will call this method. So four will go into A and five will go into B, okay? Four will go into A and so before that, how many lines of code are there in this program, in this particular method? One, line one, two, three, four, five, six, total six lines are there, okay? Now, if I am passing one test, as part of one test, if I am passing four and five as a developer, four will go into A, five will go into B, four plus five will become nine, result will become nine, nine is greater than or equal to zero. This particular state, this statement is covered now. This statement is also covered. Since this uh, result is true, we'll go inside the if block, okay? This block and system.out.println, positive result will be, Executed in the result on the output, you'll get positive result. What about this else block? This is not covered. So out of one, two, three, four, five, six. Out of six lines, because of these inputs, only these lines got executed. Three lines got executed. Okay. How many lines got executed or tested? Three lines. But total number of lines are six. So what is a what is the statement coverage? What how much is the statement coverage? Total number of lines executed is three divided by complete number of lines in the program into 100. If you enter that, you are getting 50%. 50% is the answer case, okay? Statement coverage in this case is a 50%. Now, the developers as part of white box testing has to increase the test, has to write more tests so that test coverage should be increased. So what they thought is, okay, instead of four and five only, let's test with other numbers like minus four, okay? 
minus 8 or something like this. Okay, some random numbers minus 4 minus 8 like this. So minus 4 has been passed to A this time. This is the second test guys. In the first test already these three lines got covered. 50% is already covered. In the second test, minus 4 is passed to A, minus 8 is passed to B. Minus 4 plus minus 8 will become minus 12. Result is not greater than 0. So it will go into the else block. Now the remaining three lines also got executed. As part of the second test, this else block, negative result got printed and this remaining lines which were not executed in the first test got executed in the second test. Now, how many lines are there? Total six lines. How many lines got executed because of these two tests, first test and second test? Total six lines. That means six divided by six into 100. This time, six divided by six into 100. That is 100%. So, statement coverage is 100%. This is how statement coverage will be done, guys. Okay? So hope guys, you understood what exactly is statement coverage, okay? So is one of the technique under the code coverage, okay? It falls under the structure-based design technique, okay, of the code coverage, where how, uh, how many number of lines that got executed will be divided by total number of lines that are there in the software program multiplied by 100 to get the percentage of the statement coverage. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.